Good morning, Los Angeles. The Dodgers finally made a trade, and it involved an all-star third baseman. Problem is, the all-star third baseman ain't coming to L.A., and the trade seems to be just the beginning of more trades. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, Sports Columnist, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. Dodgers finally woken their fans on Wednesday by trading three prospects for basically three prospects in a three-way deal involving the Cincinnati Reds, Chicago White Sox. The big name in the deal, Todd Frazier, third baseman for the Reds, went to the White Sox. How come he didn't come to LA for the three prospects? Because the Dodgers are convinced that Justin Turner needs to stay at third base. They don't, because of his knee surgery, they don't need a third baseman right now. What they need is starting pitching, and they didn't get any frontline starting pitching in this deal. The three prospects they got, the two big names, Trace Thompson, son of Michael Thompson, brother of Clay Thompson, an athletic outfielder, and Frankie Montas, a over 100 mile an hour throwing young pitcher, minor league pitcher. Could be really good for the Dodgers one day. They trade away Scott Shebler, an outfielder, and one of the other ones is my favorite player in the deal. I hated to see him go. Jose Peraza, a really athletic, speedy, fastest guy in the team, second baseman. I thought he was the Dodgers' second baseman for the future. Obviously not. So, I guess they're still building for that future. I guess that they are stacking up, in my opinion, they're stacking up prospects now to maybe make a trade down the line later this month, later this winter, for that starting pitcher to replace Zach Greinke, maybe for a, a veteran bullpen arm maybe for a bat. The only really interesting part of the deal was when Michael Thompson, the Laker commentator, was told that son Trace Thompson was coming to Dodgers. His first comment was, oh no, I get direct TV, which means he won't be able to watch his son on television. Stan Kasten, this is your wake-up call. You can read us at LATimes.com. Follow me on Twitter at Bill Plasky. Have a great day.